press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. How to compute current tax and deferred tax for entities which are attracting the MAT provisions of the Income Tax Act 1961. By MAT we mean the minimum alternate tax. This provision is introduced in the Income Tax 1961 as per section 115JB. Section 115JB suggests that you ignore all the tax provisions which are there in the entire act and calculate tax only as per section 115 JB. Section 115 JB introduces a concept of book profit and on book profit the income tax will be calculated. It's very natural whatever actual tax that you are paying that will turn out to be the current tax. Section 115 JB for example says that calculate the book profit and then in section 115 JB one special rate is mentioned. Book profit multiplied by the special rate, that is what will give us the tax which is payable on book profit. Section 115 JB also says that now calculate tax as per the regular tax provisions. Compare the two tax amounts, whichever is higher, that is the tax to be paid. For example, right now the special rate which is mentioned in section 115 JB is 18.5%. So book profit will be multiplied by 18.5%. So that is one amount of tax. Now apply the normal regular tax provisions and find out the tax. Compare the two tax amounts. Whichever is higher, that I am supposed to pay. So if the amount is turning out to be higher for the book profit, then I will pay the tax on the book profit. Whatever tax that you are paying, consider that as current tax in your books. But an issue now arises. How should I measure deferred taxes? Question is what exactly is the issue? Now see, under section 115 JB, the special tax rate mentioned is 18.5%. And let us say the regular rate at which a company or an entity is required to pay tax, let's say it is turning out to be 25%. So let's say the regular tax rate is 25, while the special rate of 115 JB is 18.5%. At what tax rate should I determine deferred taxes? Should I determine deferred taxes as 18.5% or should I determine deferred taxes at 25%? That is the guidance which is required and it is very clearly given in the accounting standard. AS22 says that you should use the normal regular tax rate to measure deferred taxes. The rationale of accounting standard 22 is that C attracting section 115 JB is a temporary phenomenon. You are not going to attract section 115 JB forever. So you may attract 115 JB maybe for one year or maybe for a few years. After that section 115 JB will no longer be applicable. So we want to ensure uniformity. We want to ensure uniformity between pre-MET period and post-MET period. Understand this, pre-MET period and post-MET period. We don't want a situation where in the pre-MET period uh, we are using uh, say one particular tax rate and after the, MET, uh, after the uh, MET period is coming to an end we are using another tax rate. So we don't want that deferred taxes are calculated at 18.5% here and once that period ends then I start calculating at 25. We don't want to do this. We want to ensure that whatever is the tax rate for calculating the deferred taxes should remain the same. So my regular tax rate of 25 will be used. So even though my current tax is at 18.5%, I will not use 18.5% to determine the deferred taxes. Deferred taxes will be continued to be determined as per the regular tax rate. Yes, we do have a question based on this concept. Let's do it. Things will become really very clear. They are saying calculate the current tax and deferred tax asset or a liability. 
accounting profit is 5 lakhs, book profit as per the MAT provisions is 4 lakhs 70 and the profit as per the regular provisions of the income tax rate, uh, income tax act is 50,000. Tax rate is 30% and the MAT rate is 18.5%. They are saying calculate current tax and deferred tax. First, let's work out the current tax. Computation of current tax. Yes, we said as per section 115 JB tax payable is higher of A 18.5% of book profit that is 4,70,000 into 18.5% that is rupees eighty six thousand nine fifty or B thirty percent of regular taxable income. That is fifty thousand into thirty percent. Fifteen thousand. It is higher off. So we say implies current tax is rupees eighty six thousand nine fifty. If you are still writing, you can pause the video and complete it. So this was the case of current tax. Let's see how we can work out the different tax. per AS22, deferred tax should be computed at regular tax rate in order to ensure uniformity during pre-met and post-met period. Now if you see your accounting profit is 5 lakhs and the profit as per the income tax act is 50,000. So 5 lakhs minus 50,000 that is representing your timing difference. Of course, we are assuming that there are no permanent differences, entire differences, timing difference. So we put one, uh, we put more for it. We say difference between accounting profit and taxable income is Rupees four lakh fifty thousand. Five lakhs minus fifty thousand. Good stuff. It is assumed 
that the whole difference is timing difference. Right? That's an assumption that we are making. By chance, if the question says that 20,000 rupees is permanent difference, so total difference is 4 lakh 50, 20,000 is permanent, then my timing difference will be only 4 lakh 30. If your timing difference is only 4 lakh 30, then recognize different taxes only on 4 lakh 30. No such thing is there in this question. So we are assuming entire difference as timing difference. On this timing difference, I will recognize different tax. And the tax rate, we have already made it clear. It has to happen at the regular tax rate, which in our case is 30%. Question is that what should I recognize? Timing difference is there 4 lakh 50. 4 lakh 50 I will multiply with the regular tax rate 30%. That will give me the deferred tax. Is it deferred tax asset? Is it deferred tax liability? What is the nature of the deferred tax? Again proceed very logically. Your accounting profit is 5 lakhs while the taxable profit is only 50,000. This clearly means that you are claiming large number of deductions for tax. Your taxable income is lower. How is it possible that my profit as per the PNL is 5 lakhs, but when I sit down to compute my tax, my tax is turning out, uh, my taxable income is turning out to be only 50,000. It's quite possible that there might be a lot many expenses which I have deferred in my PNL, but I have claimed that entirely for tax. If the taxable income is lower, naturally in the current year, I will pay lower tax. And if you are paying lower tax in current year, in future you will be liable to pay more tax. Since you will be liable to pay more, you should recognize deferred tax liability. Isn't it? So I recognize DTL. So I am saying that there is a timing difference of 4,50,000. We say implies Deferred tax liability recognized equals to four lakh fifty thousand into thirty percent. Four lakh fifty into thirty percent rupees one lakh thirty five thousand. That's my deferred tax. So we answer the question, they are saying calculate the current tax and deferred tax asset oblique liability. We have a DTL, 1,35,000. Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.